1977, Jan Scruggs wanted to do something to help and heal Vietnam veterans. He suggested a memorial be built by the country as a symbol that they care. By 1979, the country was coming around to understand Vietnam veterans and what they were dealing with. Realistic movies were coming out. In April, Congress wanted to honor those veterans who had returned home, so they declared Vietnam Veterans Week. Scruggs did not want to forget the names of the 12 guys he served with that lost their lives in Vietnam, but the years were making it hard to remember. He explained, if all of the names could be in one place, these names would have great power, a power to heal. A memorial would have several purposes. One would be to help veterans heal and to show that veterans were honorable. Not only did the veterans need this, but so did the country.
Attorney Robert Dobeck approached Scruggs and told him he thought a memorial was a good idea and that he should start a nonprofit corporation. In April 1979, Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund, VVMF, was established. The two then started recruiting a group of men, all Vietnam or Vietnam era veterans, to start raising funds for the memorial. The group set a goal of dedicating the memorial on Veterans Day 1982, just three years away. A national memorial had never been conceived, approved, built, and dedicated in such a brief time in the United States. No one in the group expressed any fears about the challenges they faced. They all agreed to honor the warrior, not the war. In order to build a memorial on federal land, it required an act of Congress. So Scruggs set up a meeting with Senator Charles Mathias. Mathias had heard there was a group of veterans serious about addressing the problems of veterans, so he met with Scruggs and Dobeck. Both assured the Senator that no government funds would be needed and only private donations would be accepted. The only thing they needed was an acceptable location. Senator Mathias suggested the memorial should be constructed on the mall. BVMF forged a partnership with Mathias and Virginia Senator Warner to raise seed money. BVMF, along with the two senators, announced the introduction of legislation to grant two acres of land for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. The Senate approved the legislation on April 30th, 1980, with the House following suit on May 20th, 1980. President Carter signed the legislation and the two acres were now set for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. BVMF decided to hold a competition for the design of the memorial. In order to participate in the contest, you had to be an American citizen over the age of 18 by the deadline date, March 31st, 1981. 1,421 designs had been submitted. A jury was put together to view and choose which design would be chosen. The jury viewed all of the designs for five straight days. Finally choosing the design of 21-year-old Maya Ying Lin, an Athens, Ohio resident and Yale University senior. She chose black granite walls with a mirror-like surface. The official groundbreaking ceremony took place on March 26, 1982, when 150 shovels entered the ground. Construction began. A quarry in India was selected for the granite. The lettering style and size were finalized. The memorial was seen as an open book by Miss Lynn. The names would be listed in chronological order by date of casualty. Missing in action personnel would have the plus symbol next to their name. Planning for the dedication ceremony began when the ground was broken for the wall. There was going to be a national salute to Vietnam veterans on Veterans Day. More than 150,000 planned to attend. The events surrounding the dedication began on November 10th and culminated on the 14th, which including the reading of the nearly 58,000 names listed on the wall, a three-hour parade, reunions, and service at the National Cathedral. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial, The Wall, is the most visited memorial on the National Mall. This year is the 40th anniversary of The Wall.